Hi guys, I'm here today with Galina Solonenko with Freedom Mortgage, and she is here to answer some of your questions, specifically about refinancing. I have a lot of my clients who've been calling me who fairly recently bought the house, and they're hearing all this news about the interest rates dropping, and they're very curious. Is it worth to refinance? What are those ripple effects on the loan and the interest that they're paying? And is it worth it? So Galina, please tell us what happens when somebody refinance and if it's worth the cost. Thank you, first of all, for having me. Um, refinance, first of all, has a cost to it. Uh, refinance itself costs about $3,400, $3,500. And that's the bad news. The good news is you get to skip one to two months of payments. So it kind of pays for itself. Where, for example, if your mortgage payments are roughly $2,000, you get to skip two months of $2,000, and there you go. That's your cost for the refinance. Mm -hmm. um, if refinancing, um, that all depends how far you are in the term to make sure that you pick the correct loan program. For example, if you're a couple years into the term and you want to refinance into a 30-year mortgage, you can definitely do that, lower your interest rate. If you're five years into the term, it might best to refinance into a 25 year mortgage so you don't lose that time that you have already paid down your mm -hmm. principal. And so you don't kickstart your interest from the beginning with a 30 year mortgage. Perfect, that, that's right, makes so, total sense. So, um, and then the other question I had, um, well, like my, one of my clients had is like, what is the total cost of refinancing? And I think you've mentioned about 3,500 or so, that's the cost of actually getting that new loan but there's also cost of, you know, all the prepaids, right? So um, basically, if you can kind of run uh, through what are those typical costs, and also the fact that you are getting uh, a bit of a refund from your previous escrow, right? Just kind of cover that part, if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there has to be a transfer of escrow. Basically, the new lender will collect all the escrows since your taxes and your insurance have to be paid out certain times of the year they will collect those up front so the closing costs that i mentioned are the cost to get them in general your title fees your appraisal and then the bank fee government fees now you have things that are called prepaids in your escrow that's also a part of the total closing costs but that's what you pay for your house mm -hmm. which uh, as you mentioned maria that your escrows from your previous lender will be refunded to you within 30 days after closing. So the total cost of your escrows plus your closing costs, that will depend on, well, your house, how much are your taxes, how much is your insurance. So I mean, I'll be happy to price it out on case to case, but that's the breakdown. Okay, awesome. Well, I hope you guys found that helpful. And if you have questions, if you are thinking of refinancing, please reach out to Galena. If you have any questions, you know, specifically about um, the real estate part of it, um, please reach out to me and we'll be happy to help you. So see you later. Bye. Thanks, Galina.